So, Sam, have you heard of this uh, expo called CES? What's an expo? <laughs> yeah, I've I've paid a little bit of attention to CES. Yeah. Have you seen anything really, really cool? No. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bad start. Anyway. Um, yeah, I, I... I'm gonna have to admit, I was not as... as as excited uh, from what I saw from this year's CES than last year's. Um, I I don't know. I, it's maybe because I just didn't see enough coverage. I I just I mean I don't know. As, I feel you keep going. Wasn't as cool as last year's. See, I would argue that I didn't like this year's as much, but in a different manner because I thought this year's was super cool, but. It was all so, it's the stuff that they showed was all so much future. There was really not a lot that was like this is coming in 2014. In it the was now. Yeah, it was this is coming in 2015, 20 or not, this 2015. is 2015. Yeah, <laughs> 20, 27, 2016, 17, 18, 19, 20 and up. Yeah. Right. I know I th- one of the car companies had like a 2030 plan that this was a concept car for this 2030 plan. It's like what? That, there, and you can't even fathom 15 years from now. Yeah, there was a lot of futuristic stuff there. Uh, um, LG had a lot of that. LG had a lot of futuristic stuff I uh, saw. They had this weird uh, robot that was singing. That, was it on stage with them? Uh, no, it was, I don't think it was on stage, but they had like it on a stage. And it I was can't, talking it. and stuff, and mm-hmm. it was supposed to like help people who are depressed or something, or, or no, 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 no. Wait, it was a, uh, <laughs> it was supposed to help people uh, who uh, are deaf or oh. something like that. It mm-hmm. it was doing sign language. It was That's designed to cool. do sign language. That's really cool, actually. Yeah. That's I did, I actually did not see that. I saw a robot on the stage with I want to say BMW when they did BMW when they did their uh their keynote, not a right. PowerPoint keynote <laughs> huge difference. Uh but I did see a robot on stage though. I thought that was kind of interesting that these these like kind of like a companion robots were kind of relevant this year. I mean, I saw more than I'd seen in past years. Yeah, That's yeah. Interesting. Uh, they're 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 coming around. They're gonna take over the world soon. So oh yeah, of course. And then there's gonna be a movie made about it. It's gonna be like the what was the movie? There's already 20, movies made about. Twenty twelve was the end of the world movie, and then well, that didn't have robots. So that's true. That was just like the world. Going I did crazy. love that or movie exploding. though, even though it's like the word. Uh, like it is a blockbuster. If you had ever seen one, yeah, I don't. know. I still <laughs> love it. I still love really. It. Oh, it was yeah. Everything mm. blown up and people getting like. Sucked in by like typhoons and uh, it, it was okay. And was uh, okay. California like exploding. I mean, it was awesome. <laughs> Speaking of California, did you see that a uh, new movie coming out about the yes. California earthquake? That that's looks exactly really good. what I I thought. That when, looks really good. Yeah, yeah, it looks really awesome. I'm like, that's like 2012, except the whole movie is just about the California part. And uh-huh. it's what's funny and also really bad is that that is what's going to happen one day. Oh yeah, it's it's. I mean, it's going to happen. Yeah. Because uh, they sit right on the fault. <laughs> yes, that it. What hap- Will happen that in that movie is what's going to happen in real life one day. Mm-hmm. Um. Do you know what yeah, the name let- of it? Oh, San Andreas is the name of the uh, movie. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just looking uh, that up Los in case Santos. people. Were. Yeah, in case people were wondering what we were talking about. But uh, do you want to get into our like top ten best of CES yeah, so we, list? We should probably do that. Yeah, we uh, we each made our own, not really top five, but our five favorite things that we saw at CES, and he has five, and I have five. So we're gonna we're gonna start mm-hmm. now. Do you mind if I go first? <laughs> sure. All right. So uh, I'm gonna start mind. with my. I kind of put mine in like a top five best to worst. So I'm gonna start with my number five. And that was the Air Dog drone. And this thing can follow you completely AI controlled in midair, no user interaction required. It it just follows you around. It just it just follows you. I saw a very cool video by The Verge where they put the drone up in the air and then they set the GPS to lock onto the controller, which was riding oh, in a car. Okay. And the drone did a beautiful looking movie esque, really, like following the car. It was, it was all really cool. Oh yeah, I mean it was. 
it was very, very cool. This looked like the future. It was a drone that followed you around. It was completely AI controlled, which is anything AI. I'm just going to put it out there. It just blows my mind. AI. How a com- I mean, how can a computer be programmed I, to like operate? Look, I, I love the idea of AI a little mm-hmm. bit too much. I really do love the idea of AI. Um, it's funny whenever. If if a story, if a show, or if a movie, anything involves AI in it, I get addicted to it. It's pretty funny. Um, but yeah, I, I love the idea of AI. Um, I mean, when when uh, they become... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? When they're um, like self-intelligent or... Uh, self-aware. <laughs> yeah, self-aware. That's going to be pretty scary. Yeah. But um, I mean, it's going to happen one day. It really is. That, I mean, that is scary to think about. Then there's movies, but if... We're, and this is the direction that we're going right now. If robot... And this... <laughs> like, hearing myself say this, it sounds crazy. Like, man, the robots are going to take <laughs> over the world. Man, you better watch out. Better I not mean... use them iPhones. I don't think they're going to... It that's in. There's nothing wrong with the phones. I keep, <laughs> I keep making too many quotes. Um, I, I, I think we will see it in our lifetimes. Or in our lifetime, Sam, that that I would not happen. argue. Yeah, I would not argue against that. It's very, very, very. We need to. Uh, we need to design that, Sam. Let's go. Yeah. So uh, we're just gonna start with the circuit board. We're gonna like start Steve. coding now. See yeah. you guys. <laughs> yeah. See you guys. Thanks for listening. To host to host one of those things would probably take up like one of IBM's server buildings, like a yeah, complete, now like warehouse. And right. then they'll have like, it'll be like the first computer. How it took up an entire room, and then there'll be robots that are like self-aware in the well, size of right. a but phone or whatever. That's true. Yeah, I mean, that's crazy. Technology. AI, is I just, see. I see the AI all connecting t- wirelessly. Though it's 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 all <laughs> one computer, and then it connects to it. It. I'm going too far with this, but um, <laughs> it's okay. We're all one. <laughs> Wait, what's that? What's that word? Where we're like. Uh, like one with the computer. Um, cyborg? No. Uh, it's uh in like they use it in transcendence or not transcendence. transcendence. What's the word, movie I'm thinking of about the AI that came out or uh, last year? AI that came out last year. I'm uh, drawing a blank here. Like the guy got killed, but they uploaded him to the computer. I never saw the movie, but I wanted to see it. I don't. Uh, I probably didn't see it either. Because I don't have any <laughs> any idea. You knew you know what it is because we were talking about it, but we hadn't seen it. We were. Oh um, yeah, I kind of do. Yeah, I yeah I don't know what it was though. I can kind of remember us talking about it. Yeah, but yeah that that word. All right. Um. Anyway, that was the air dog drone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we went off on uh, kind of a different <laughs> path with that. Guys, if you take anything away from this episode of Phone Pod, just know that robots will, in fact, take over the world. You heard it here first, folks. And that Jake is ten times tired than he usually is in these things. So, <laughs> even that I just skipped a word there, too. <laughs> um, ten, ten tired. You know, you oh, know, I, man. Yeah. This has been too long of a week. <laughs> it's only Wednesday, on but Tuesday, it's still too long. On Tuesday, I was like, oh, it's Friday. Oh, no, it's not Friday. <laughs> it's Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, it Yeah, it feels like a Friday because... Wait, is today... Today's Wednesday, right? Yes. Because, um... What am I trying to say? We usually record these on Friday, but I forced Jake to record today. <laughs> Yeah, we needed to record the CES. Uh, yeah, yeah, because, I don't know, I wanted to do a phone pod. I like doing these. Anyway, Jake, do you want to do one of your Yeah, it was called best? it was called Transcendence. I was right. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, when I'm watching CES, I usually try to see what uh, the tech for gaming that's going on. And um, what I really like... Uh, that I saw was the stuff uh, once again every year the best stuff that I see is what Razer does which is uh, the highest level of gaming gear kind of in my opinion I mean I'm not saying it's the best um, you just it, like it I, I, I just really like it and it's uh-huh. it, it, um, 
It's it's the most expensive too, for sure, yeah. alongside Alienware. Except they deserve to be. It deserves to be more expensive, whereas Alienware is just rips you off with what you get. Don't buy from them; they're awful. I don't um, know. They sound pretty cool, though. I know they sounded <laughs> cool to me at first too, but it's all like, on the marketing. Like, but when you look at these towers that are one thousand dollars for a i five, that's only two point five gigahertz i mean i could get a macbook with that Mm -hmm. so i mean i don't see why you would ever do that in the graphics aren't even that great either um i digress um (laughs) but yeah so razor some of the things they did this year most most uh the most interesting thing i saw them do was i guess uh let me find it here the the forge tv uh Uh uh-huh and it's interesting. It has the Android TV uh, software on it. It's basically oh. like it's mm-hmm. basically just like the uh, Apple TV or the Amazon Fire TV. Oh, only except for... it's of course a sleek black box with the Razer logo blacked out on top of it. Uh, okay. And it and it is for uh, of course you know watching movies, TV shows, and gaming. And oh. what's most interesting about it. Is that you can stream games from your super PC to to the box to the box on your TV oh. downstairs or something, and this is what uh, this is how Steam machines were going to work. Is that at first uh, the major PC gamers would buy them to stream their games mm-hmm. uh, because it was cheap, and it, and that's only if you were uh, were excessive with stuff like that. But this is the package without, like, you know, the having... You can also play, like, Android games on it, but, I mean, you know, play them on... Yeah, no. Yeah, you're going to play PC games. (laughs) Yeah. Um, And this is the solution. It's cheaper, of course, than a full-fledged computer, which is what a Steam box is. Uh Uh-huh. And, uh, yeah. I mean, mean, that's... That sounds the, really cool. Yeah, so th- this also has the Google Cast. Uh, you can use the Google Cast app with it, too. So it would be like... I'm going to try to do a comparison here to check my understanding. <laughs> so it would be like having an Xbox in your TV up here, but you could also right, play these Xbox games on another TV in your house with the black box. Yeah, with the black box, okay. pretty much. And the, the only... I mean, the trick is, of course, you have to have a good internet connection. Uh, and you have to have really good Wi-Fi that, for this to work. Otherwise, that would be an issue. Otherwise, mm-hmm. you're going hardwired. And once again, that's probably what most people are going to do when they get this thing. Uh, I don't know when it's out. I hope it's out soon because I'm kind of tired of seeing these things not come out. That's true. There's been um, so many, like, yeah. What am I trying to say? Like all-in-one streaming-ish boxes for games and movies and TV and. Android games that just never come to fruition. They're just announced and everybody gets super excited and then you just never hear anything. Right. It's and, like they get canned. Yeah, and then another one that Rizzo did uh, is, uh, and I I think, I, I really like the idea of uh, the Forge TV thing because uh, I mean, it, I mean it, it gives you what people want with the Steam Box and then, where is that Steam Box? I mean... No, these Steam boxes, this whole fab with that, all the excitement for that is gone, and we didn't see them again this year. Mm-hmm. So, I, I mean, I guess um, who owns Steam? Uh, come on. Uh, I honestly don't have the slightest clue who owns Steam. <laughs> um, they're the people who make. They also make the games. T- oh gosh. Um, Hold on one second. Valve? Uh, yeah, Valve. Valve um, okay. I don't know what they're doing um, because I, I I think they're waiting for the the console generation to, to kind of die, I out. Don't, die out. That's what I'm saying. And it's like if you are waiting for that, you started way too soon. Um, yeah. I, I'll talk about that for the entire podcast. So I'll talk about that next time. But... Let's move on here. Uh, I just want to knock out some of the other things that Razer mm-hmm. did. Um, they're also uh, releasing a mic that's just like the Blue Yeti, except it looks way more sleek and 
looks awesome. It has all the same options and features. Mm -hmm. uh, looks really like it's like a cylinder. That's called the Siren uh, Professional yeah, I, Grade Studio. Yeah, I've heard um, What do you think? Oh, have you Considering seen... Considering you have the Spark. Yeah, I, obviously, I don't think I would... I think it's actually the exact same price. I think it's around 180 for the Siren. If I remember, if I, I think I just watched a video on somebody like reviewing it the other day. Mm -hmm. But um, sorry if there's some noise in the background. I think my grandparents <laughs> just walked in. But uh, and my dog was going crazy earlier. So you guys are like heard squealing in the background. My dog gets super excited when people get home. <laughs> Regardless, <laughs> uh, about the. Uh, I just lost my train of thought. What were we talking about? <laughs> uh, the, 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 the siren microphone. Siren. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, so I think it's around 180 which is the exact same price of what I paid for my mic, my Spark on Amazon. I think it was like oh, 200 really? Or I think I got it at, at a guitar center and they price matched for me, but sorry, I just hit my desk. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think I'm going to be – I don't even know if I would call it upgrading because I'm not sure it's better than my mic. Uh, I – I think it's better than the Blue Yeti for sure. Um, yeah, I mean, I would hope so for being like almost a hundred dollars more. Yeah, because I think the Yeti is what is it only like seventy eighty now? Uh, I think it was. I bought it. No, I I got it. I paid ninety for it. Okay, so yeah, I mean, it's around nine seventy eighty ninety bucks right. more expensive. So I would really hope that it would be better than the Yeti, but I've never seen any audio tests or anything like that for it, and I. I don't think I'm going to get it or anything like that. Yeah, I mean, I already have this, so I'm definitely Yeah, exactly. It. But and, and, if I was choosing between the two, I mean, this thing looks really nice. Yeah, I, I would have to hear an audio test on right, it. Right, right. Because um, some can look great, but if it sounds as good as a <laughs> Yeti for the yeah, same... Yeah, it's, one, it's 180. 180, okay. And then the blue Yeti is um, currently... One hundred and sixteen. Oh, what? Yeah, I got it on a discount when I got mine. Oh yeah, I guess I was looking at a. I get. Gosh, I guess the last time I checked the prices for a Yeti was on Black Friday. Now that and I think the, about it. And then there's the blackout version, which is. Uh, I think you were telling me about this. It's. Mm -hmm. It's uh, very very nice. One thirty. Yeah. That is so nice. It's like all black. Oh. That is one thing I would like to get, except it's kind of a downgrade for me, so right. I'm not going to get it. Unless they like sent one out to me. If you're listening to this, Blue Microphones, feel free to send one out. My address uh, is... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll move uh, on now. The next... That's yeah, that's fine. The next thing is the Razer turret keyboard, and this is basically to kind of buy alongside uh, the box thing. Um, it's a lap it's a keyboard that you put in your lap so you can okay. game like on the couch uh, while box? playing pc games uh and you could do this with your box and mm. with your uh, uh normal with, pc with your normal pc if you have like a tv pc or something so that's that's cool pretty awesome it has like uh the track it has the uh, mouse pad built into it uh and the mouse that comes with it is like magnetic so that like it doesn't fall off all the time and you can like when you're moving it around, and you can uh -huh. also like uh, store it, it uh, by having it sit like uh, sideways, and then like it's Jake, magnetic there? on the side. Hello. 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 Oh, sorry, you just cut out for a second. Oh, that's so what okay. Were you, what you uh, think you could store it underneath the keyboard? Yeah, like on the side of it, like it's because it's magnetic or something. Oh, that's pretty useful i never thought about a magnetic like holster that's pretty cool yeah um and the next thing uh that i would like to talk about is their usb type c uh sorry what'd you say us uh, maybe it's my end that's having some issues it i think it might be yeah um the next thing is is yeah, uh, it's my end. Oh, yeah. Oh, it is. All right, guys. I apologize for that that offlineness. My my internet was just acting weird, so I had to reset my Wi-Fi on my computer. But now we're back. 
Yes. Jake's going to tell us about a very cool VR, VR, <laughs> VR head. <laughs> I'm saying, trying to say VR said, right. VR headset from Razer. Um, so yeah, apparently they're making a OS VR open source virtual, virtual reality. So it's an open source, like, that means that anybody can like develop for it and like, uh, share like code and like that. I, I love open source. I'm a yeah, huge fan. Yeah. So this thing's really awesome. I mean, it looks like. I mean, from the picture here, I don't know mm-hmm. if they had anything at the booth. I, I guess this is just a concept image. Um, yeah. It looks nicer than the... F- uh, well, I, I mean, the, the coolest looking one we saw was Morpheus from PlayStation, but I, yeah. I'm i expecting this to be the best one. Because it's by Razer? Because it's by Razer. <laughs> because Finish everything they make is just, just like, so sleek and, like, perfect. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm sure it's going to cost um, a good amount, too. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, I mean, my view on virtual reality, uh, I think it should exist. Um, but it's got to be good. I think that we should have it. It has to be really good, mm-hmm. um, but I'm probably not going to really use it that much. Yeah, I've, I'm, never... I'm, I'm sure we've all seen the videos of people demoing it at CES, or even some people have... Um, developer kits of the 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 one that you can get yeah right what's now. what's its name oh gosh the oculus rift oculus rift there we go the, the one we've been hearing about for like three years uh-huh like the the developer preview or not developer preview but the the prototype 2.0 yeah, or whatever is face, out facebook owns it now and everything and whatever it's gonna be di- different than if probably facebook wasn't facebook didn't ac- acquire them but I don't know. We'll see. I mean, nothing is really, really, truly come I just, out. Of I them just yet. don't see why they they acquired them. Nothing different has happened. But I mean, and that might be good and bad. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I mean, I think that this should finally work. Like this has been going on for the past like ten or like twenty years almost. VR has so, mm-hmm. uh, for it to finally work, that would be good because, I'm I'm not gonna get one probably ever. I don't know. I mean, we'll see what the yeah. future holds, but I don't I'm kind of in the same I mean, same stage as you are. I'd rather just look at a screen. I don't like wearing headphones, usually. I like listening to speakers. And I, I have don't this, have anything on me. Yeah, to have this huge thing, like glasses on your face, what, uh, that doesn't yeah. seem comfortable at all. Plus headphones and all this other stuff. It It looks cool, don't get me wrong, but... They got to do a lot of work before the average consumer is going to want to get Right, it. because right now it's just a screen, and from the show I've been watching recently, there's a lot more than that, and um, from the show I'm watching, it looks really cool. Mm-hmm. I'll talk about it some other time, maybe. Yeah, we'll uh, have to do a VR one. I, yeah, I, I'm not going to talk about that right now, but... Uh, <laughs> Uh, and then the last thing is, Razer is making a wireless controller that you can buy with the box thing. Uh, it's a gaming controller. Uh, it's called the Serval. Uh, I don't really know much about it. I mean, they did make an Xbox controller. Okay. Uh, it, this looks kind of like it. Um, and, and the best part about it is, is that this will basically uh, be uh, the thing that uh, Moga makes and also um, Logitech, the iPhone and of course, mobile phone controllers where you put your phone in the slot uh-huh, and it's yeah. an actual mm-hmm. controller this is these i like these this idea it's a controller and you put the control you put the phone in the slot on the top and it like locks oh that's See, cool i don't like um the ones where you put like the phone in and it's a case i hate those mm, uh so yeah, i'm happy that that's they made different. one of those and um i'm happy to see that they're doing it right this time yeah doing it the yeah, I mean, I don't like when there's, like, a case that you have to put on that you right. have to, like, put it in this area. I just like putting the phone, like, on the device without having to change stuff around on your phone, like a different case or whatever. Right, and uh, it also works with the Forge TV thing. I don't know if it works with PCs. Um, we shall yeah. see. <laughs> yeah, we shall see. <laughs> Inside joke. Um, um, so, Sam, do you want to talk about... Uh, USB? I do. I will say a little bit about USB Type-C. This is something that I just saw a very small part on, but it's basically 
the USB of the future, like everything else that's <laughs> yes, it's whatever of the future, but it's called USB type C and it's, it's kind of like, did you see a picture of the actual cable? It's kind of like a mini. It looks like a micro USB yeah, cable. Yeah, micro USB, exactly. So that's one issue I have with it right there. Yeah, I don't like that. Um, yeah, it's too small. It's too small. It reminds I, me of, yeah. I, don't I know. understand why we would want to do that, but I'm fine with just, I actually, I just like um, Thunderbolt for everything, but um, I, yeah, I like that. Um, nice. Yeah, but I, I mean, it, Thunderbolt's a great plug. It's small, but it's, you know. Not very well hold. adopted. It's not very well adapted, which isn't really fair considering Apple, where it was, uh, kind of, they they put USB ports on their computer and they got rid of a lot of the old stuff. Uh-huh. So that's not really fair that they that isn't happening again because, I mean, Apple of course didn't make USB, but yeah, they course. did definitely did influence it the uh, market. upon all computers. Mm-hmm. Um, and now we're in 3.0, and when I first used 3.0, it was really fast. And um, I and I just recently built my computer. I got all 3.0. I have two 2.0 in the back, but I have like six uh, <laughs> 3.0 ports. So I think yeah, I, I think I've got two 3.0 on my my MacBook. Yeah, um, and 3.0 is great, but I mean this. Uh, I I like the. I mean, even though everybody complains about not being able to plug it in both ways. Yeah, that's I not defini- a huge deal. I definitely have overcome that problem. Um, mm-hmm. yeah. But apparently this does go uh, back, you know, in both ways, just like the lightning, lightning cable. So, and that is awesome. And that is what I'm excited about for USB right. Type-C. Even though... I'm not a huge fan of the actual design. I like reversible. I didn't think that reversible would be a big deal for lightning, but well, here I've got a lightning cable right here. I honestly think, or no, I don't. I don't actually. I thought that there was a symbol on one side that was just kind of like the recommended way to put it in because on right. the previous ones it had the little icon on the top for which yeah. would be facing up. Yeah, this doesn't have any icon. Doesn't either have side, any icons. Which I, I I like it. I like that a lot because. You just plug. You don't even have to think. You just take the cable and you plug it in. Right. And I'm excited to do that. It'd be nice to do with a USB with a hard drive, for example. I mean, I guess I do this subconsciously now. But yeah, when I pick up my thing, sometimes it's upside down and I doesn't go in right away, and I have to flip it around. And I don't get angry or anything. I just, it's I subconsciously just flip it around and put it in the other way. But it would be nice to just put it in the computer and it works right away without having to flip it around ever. And I think that would be very nice. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm like, I wasn't. I'm still confused if this is basically USB, uh, 4.0 or if this is replacing the micro USB. I'm still confused on that fact. Yeah, I have no idea at this point. Yeah, um, and then I can I, talk about the. Uh, New Sony Walkman. Sure. Unless you want to say something. <laughs> yeah, you can. No, you can talk about it. I don't really know what it, this is. I just want to talk about this briefly. It's it's kind of silly if you ask me. I don't think it's going to sell very well. Basically, long story short, it is a thirteen hundred dollar iPod. What? Yes, it's thirteen hundred dollars, and it can store super high quality audio files, and it's pretty thick, and it's kind of heavy. And it's basically another Sony Walkman. Those were the popular things when I think our parents were like teenagers. Uh, you right. would carry it around and you could listen to the radio. Well, this allows you to store... We still have one in the house, like, I think... Um, that would be cool. Sitting somewhere. I don't know where it is, but... Mm-hmm. And you can... I mean, obviously, this isn't for the average consumer. This is for audiophiles who want premier quality everywhere they go in the palm of their hand. Yeah. This isn't going to be for people who buy songs off iTunes, this is going to be people who don't, who buy CDs and get the Apple lossless or the FLAC files, whatever the highest possible form is, they're going to be using this well, to listen to music. Can't I, iPhones do this or no? I How? don't think... that. I think the iPhone can do MP3 or AAC. It's, it, does, it defaults everything to AAC, so this but, does actually have the actual format. It doesn't convert anything. No, I think this is like 
Because when you put it in the iTunes, it, it goes to a, a, a C. Yeah, this, I mean, I think you listen to what the original audio file was, or the maximum quality was. That's pretty sweet. So this Which might is, be for, like, people who also, like, do movies and stuff. I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm looking at some pictures. It looks nice. Mm-hmm. Um, I am happy to see that the UI is not flat. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's got like some Sony software on it, but anyway, yeah, that was just something small I wanted to mention. Yeah, that's interesting. I didn't know that they still were doing that. Um, mm-hmm. Very interesting. Because I just looked up and saw some other pictures. I don't know how long this line has gone with this. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. Anyway, there's two cars that I want to talk about it to close off the podcast. Sure. And this is the Tesla Model X and the BMW i8. Now, the Tesla Model X is awesome because it's a Tesla. And uh, my dream car is a Tesla Model S or whatever the newest version is. When Tesla I hope... Model S 56730. Yeah, <laughs> 400 gigahertz RAM. But I don't know. If you, if you guys have ever seen a Tesla, I've never seen one in person, but from the pictures I've seen, uh, it looks just simply amazing. I mean, it's got a huge touchscreen in the middle of the car and the dash. Yeah. It just... It's all electric. It uses zero gas. It doesn't have a hybrid engine. This thing is fully electric. And I guess I really care about the environment because I took a class last semester called environmental science. And I guess that had an impact on me because now I'm kind of like conscious about all this stuff. Uh, Mm -hmm. But I think electric is awesome. And without a doubt, electric is the future. It's not going to be hydrogen. (laughs) Sorry, Toyota. Um, It's going to be electric because this is something that is pretty cheap. I mean, electricity is cheap. Of course, you have to use coal and power plants and stuff, but I mean, electric is the future. I don't know what you think, Jake, but... Well, I mean, referencing back to uh, Techno Buffalo's uh, motto, um, we need to see batteries advance. Yes, I would agree. Uh, I don't know how that works, but there hasn't been no advancement of batteries, and I've noticed that forever. It's just been how you can charge, how you can charge the battery faster, Mm-hmm. Um, it's not, it's, it's a very little increase of how much it can hold, um, unless the battery's a bigger size. So, I mean, once we see those, the batteries mm-hmm. advance, I see there's no question that it would be the future. Oh, I, um, I, I agree too. I'm thinking yeah. too far ahead, but yeah, of course, obviously if we can get batteries that you can go a thousand miles on a charge instead of I think 180 or 200 right with the same amount of electricity required or whatever that would be crazy to say the least also um I I I don't know if it's because where we live I never see charging stations anywhere I actually looked on a map but I I hear that they're in a lot of other cities so it's kind of weird yeah I looked and I'm not going to give away any locations yeah. of where we live or reside right. but uh there are some downtown okay and that's the hint i'll give there are some at some hotels downtown which i thought was very cool okay that's i looked it up oh, they're day. at hotels yes which i think mm. is kind of a good idea too well i mean i get that's a good idea um i think they also they don't do they oh, of course they charge for that right uh, I believe it's free, actually. Free they do, charging. Yeah, it is free right now. Which is okay. insane. Yeah, it's free power right now. So, I mean, obviously that would change. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> if, if I, I have not, of the population is doing all electric, I doubt it's going to be free. Yeah, I have not heard um, about paying for it. Um, I do feel like it should be installed in gas stations. And I'm sure it will. Actually, right. Jake, they're not going to be called gas stations. They're going to be called electric stations. They're going to be called electric stations. stations. Dude, that's crazy. What if in our <laughs> lifetime, our kids don't know what a gas station is? What if we're not going to drive the car? I don't even... I, my mind is going to explode and I'm going to be tired. <laughs> so I'm just going to move on to the BMW i8, which okay. will probably just make my brain combust. Yeah. This is a car that will drive itself to your location. Example, you're at the right. mall and it's a cold winter's day. You don't feel like going all the way to your car. So you go over to your smartwatch, you tap a button, and your car will back itself out and drive to your location and pick you up. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. I am excited for the future. <laughs> I mean, 
I'm just, I just love just the idea of just like this turning on your car and then it's just like ramming through like brick walls and like <laughs> crashing into other cars and like oh wrecking gosh. all everything up and then it just like like drives up to you and just honks for you to get in and it's me, like me. on fire <laughs> get in the car <laughs> it's self aware oh gosh that, I don't want to get back on the self aware stuff but I'm excited do you think how cool would it be if a car could drive to your location and pick you up in a parking lot oh my gosh I, I don't understand why I feel like this, but it's just, I don't know why I'm not more impressed with it. Like, it's just oh, like... I am blown away. Like, I almost am like, yeah, that's about time. I don't know why I'm thinking that at all. It's about I'm time just being not, Well, I'm just not that, like, that's awesome, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm fascinated, if you can't tell. No, yeah, it's it's definitely awesome. It's just like, yeah, I don't know. I'm not a big car guy. See, that's the problem. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a huge one, but I like this stuff. Yeah. Something else I want to mention with the BMW i8, and this isn't necessarily new technology, but it's it was demoed really well. They had a little, uh, well, a demo at CES where you you would floor the uh, car at a barrier. And the car, while you are still having the gas pedal all the way down, oh right, it, it would, would stop. stop. Now, yeah. granted, you were one or two inches away from the barrier, but you stopped while flooring on the gas. Do you know how invaluable that would be if you were about to crash into somebody and you weren't paying attention and you could stop? Yeah, I mean, think about the think about the car accident like death rate or accident rate. It would go way down. Well. One thing I had to say about that, and also with where you, like, start falling asleep in the car, like, mm-hmm. steers for you or whatever, um, what if you just drive like that, and, and what, uh, how is the car going to know that you're deciding to drive like that instead of falling asleep or flooring on the gas because you want to? I guess, I don't know. I, well, the floor, <laughs> the, that I mean, the, the one without crashing in the stuff, that makes sense to me, but... The auto steering, that's that's weird. Yeah, that's a little put it this way, I don't I don't want to have a car where there is no freedom of being able to drive exactly how or right. where you want. The uh the first edition of the Google car didn't have a wheel. Yeah, I don't like, like that. I'd be like, Oh n- no, 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 no. Yeah. And then and then they uh like the administration of whatever said that you need to have a wheel so you can manually drive it. Yeah, uh, because mm. Yeah, I'm not getting in a car without a steering wheel. I'm sorry. Yeah. But if all else fails, I want to be able to control my car. I want to drive in the lane I want to drive in sometimes. If I want to go fast one day, I'll get in the fast lane. I'm not going to let no car Life show me what to do. Lane. Yeah. <laughs> Life in the fast lane. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the BMW i8. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I think it's an SUV-ish car. It's not like an action. Or is it a car? It might know. be a car. I can't remember. Um, I like how you put in in the comments, LG Web OS watch. The Apple Watch is going to obviously trump everything else on the market. So why even bother? Yeah, very, very, very <laughs> quickly. I will. Um, I'll uh, I'll run down my top five worst, and I don't want to talk. I'm just gonna simply name them and what I said about it. Uh, right. Top five worst. Number five. LG WebOS Watch, the Apple Watch is going to obviously trump everything else on the market. Why even try to compete? <laughs> Number four, Samsung 360 degree speakers. These look like robots from the video game Portal 2. I can get better speakers <laughs> elsewhere. Number three, the Kodak phone. Just the name sounds like the Facebook phone, and we all know what happened to that guy. You oh, the Kodak phone. Nobody oh has God. a Facebook phone. Sorry, I guys. Seen that. Uh, and number two, the Lenovo Selfie Flash. Just why? Uh, to briefly explain this, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, is it about, like you hold it like out, like it puts it, it on, like a you put it, it on is, like a it is for Android, yeah, it's for Android only phones. Of course, my phone decides to vibrate like crazy. Um, it's for Android phones only. You put it in your your jack, your audio jack, your uh, 3.5 mm-hmm. millimeter, and it comes on with a light and it flashes and it gives you light for selfies. You can also turn it around on the back, but it is called the selfie flash, and I do not like that. Don't like it. Hmm. It's got to go away forever. That's the worst thing ever. All right, continue. And number one. <sighs> no. I, the, <laughs> the Lamborghini phone. 
This, I, I've got to look up the price on this. I don't know what this is. I'm going to look it up. Um, it is called the Lamborghini phone. And it costs around $6,000. So it's made by Lamborghini? Yes. Is it gold? There, I'm sure there's something fancy on it. It's based on Android, I believe. This looks mm. like a Blackberry. Yeah, it's... Uh, mm, I don't even want to talk about it. It's making me angry. I, I'm looking at it right now. I'm looking at this right now. Guess what's running on this thing right now? What? Is it like Android 1? It Yeah, it's like... It's like, you know the one with the grid and it had all the lines in the background? Like, mm-hmm. that would go up and down? Which Android is that? For the wallpaper, like, it was a moving background. And it had, like, the colored lines go back and forth and up and down. Oh, gosh, I don't know. But this is, like, Android, like, 2.0 that's running on this right now. This is... That's not impressive to me. No. At all right now. That's all I'm saying. What'd you say? That's all I'm saying is that... Oh, Yeah. I think I'm looking at the right thing. It it's it yeah, looks Yeah, technobuffalo.com. Okay, yeah, this is it. Yeah, it's uh it has mm, leather on the back. Let's just say it's probably going to end up like the Kodak phone and the Facebook phone. That's all I'm, I'm just all, all, all I'm saying all I'm saying is that this is not this does not look like a freaking $600 phone. That's all I'm saying. No, no, Jake, you mean $6,000. That's what you said? Yeah. Yeah, there's gold on the front of this thing, I think. Yeah, it's, uh, it's ridiculous. Oh, wait, well, I'm thinking, this is, of course, without a carrier. <laughs> Unlocked, of course. Oh, my God, I'm looking at, like, the box it comes in. It's, like, this giant case. It's, mm, it, it just looks unnecessary. I'm sorry. Well, it looks like a black... It, I, when I look at it, it just looks like an old, like, phone. Here we go, Jake. Here's all the information you need to know about a phone that that's going to fail. Okay. Price of Lamborghini Mobile with Android 4.2 is $4,000. That's... That, um, nope. And I would say that concludes the podcast. <laughs> See you guys later. Yes. Yeah. Well, Jake, I think I have to go and eat dinner because, like I mentioned earlier, my grandparents came in. <laughs> but yeah. uh, thanks for thanks for talking with me. I had fun. No problem. I, I'm scared for the future when I think about the Lamborghini phone, but I'm excited <laughs> when I think about things like the the Razor stuff. Sounds really cool, and also like the the Teslas and the the other things. I mean, those look awesome. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. Thanks a lot for, I almost said watching. Thanks a lot for listening to this episode of PhoneBot. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a review on iTunes, and both of us would sincerely appreciate it. I think that's all we have to say. Thanks for coming, Jake. I appreciate it. I had a fun time talking. All right, guys. Thanks again, and we'll talk to you in the next episode of PhoneBot. See you guys later.